From the home of the Widener Pride, this is Widener Pride Athletics for the 2014 fall season. I am joined by our football coach, Mike Kelly. Coach, thank you for joining us. Coach, welcome to Widener. It is so good to be here. All right. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, in all of our conversations that we've had, you've talked a lot about the team concept. Now a lot of coaches say that, but what is your philosophy? surrounding a team concept? Uh, football is the most complex game there is when it comes to getting a, 11 different people to work in unison. And uh, if one guy doesn't pull the rope in the same direction as everyone else, you can't function properly. And um, as you well know, that it, I've asked that in, in all of our media paraphernalia that it's mm -hmm. all group pictures. There's no individuals. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, we have player individual players that are really good players and really good people. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to be highlighted and, and, uh, and, and receive some accolades. But if the team plays well, then individuals will receive more accolades. Mm -hmm. If the team doesn't play well, then even if you're a pretty good player, you don't get the same accolades. So it, it all goes hand in hand. And, and, uh, um, and, and I really try to create an atmosphere where um, everyone knows that they have equal value. Um, that, uh, you know, I, I use the San Antonio Spurs as an example. I bet you there's a bunch of guys that are numbers 8 through 15 on their roster that could be starting for someone else in the NBA, mm -hmm. but they give such those starters, you know, Tony Parker and the gang, such a good look in practice, mm -hmm. and it's such a good team and unity. I use them as a, uh, as a measuring stick and, and try to learn from what they've done, and uh, obviously I've been very successful doing that. You bring in, or you walk into a high-powered offense and among the individuals, you got Anthony Davis, who is a multi-time All-American, and you got Seth Klein twice last year by two publications named Rookie of the Year. Talk about them. What is the offense looking like this year? Well, <coughs> we've uh, uh, we took a lot of the good things that they've done in the past year, and this this uh, this program isn't broken. You know, there's there's they've had two coaches move on to what they perceived as as better opportunities, and mm -hmm. and um, uh, you know they recruited a certain way. And um, so we, we've got to play to those kids' talents. Mm -hmm. um, we have a little differing philosophy in the fact that uh, um, I truly believe that you're not going to win consistently without running the football well. Um, I think that opens up your, your play action. It changes the launch point for your quarterback and, and kind of calms things down a little bit uh, mm -hmm. instead of that frantic hurry up throw the ball everywhere all over the field right, uh, right. type of philosophy but uh, um, you know again two good young players um, well An Anthony I guess is considered an old guy now <laughs> but uh, um, <coughs> you know they, uh, they they've had a lot of success playing with each other they they understand each other mm -hmm. there's an unspoken communication in throwing the football and and uh, and that's special and uh, obviously we're going to try to play on those strengths while bringing in a, a little differing philosophy of uh, uh, controlling the clock a little bit better and, and um, uh, we have other tools here. Yes. There are other players that can be quite effective for us and uh, if they overload towards Anthony I think we'll have answers for them. Well you look at your defense you have three returning all-conference players on the line between Corey Phillip, John DiBiase, and Stacey Centerville, not to mention return Kevin Burns at linebacker, Amir Sorrell, and Jamal Goodman at DB. How's your defense looking, and what do you expect from them this year? Uh, you know, at, <coughs> at the D3 level, uh, really at any level, depth is always mm -hmm. a concern, right? And uh, it, whether I was in the CFL or the NFL or the XFL, it's uh, mm -hmm. depth is always what you're talking about. But um, when you look at our front seven, uh, those guys that are starting and, and a couple of rotational guys that will go in there, pretty salty group. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I'm excited to have that, that type of uh, athleticism, uh, that type of demeanor, uh, that, uh, and the type of uh, intelligence that those kids possess. And, so I, I, and, and then you add in Bill Shuey, who was trained by Jim Johnson mm -hmm. with the Philadelphia Eagles as our defensive coordinator. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way, yeah. as to what's going to happen up front. And, um, you know, on the, on the back end of it, the, uh, the, the secondary, uh, we have kids with nice long arms right. uh, that can be uh, pretty good push and pester guys down the field. And if uh, we're getting the pressure on that we hope to get on, um, those guys' life will be pretty easy. And finally, uh, you come over here with pro experience, uh, having been a head coach in the CFL. You've been um, an assistant. You worked with the Giants, the Eagles, the Redskins, and also with Orlando in the XFL. How will your pro experience transfer here to Widener? Um, I think the, you know, the biggest thing about being in, in professional football is the attention to detail. 
um, and that uh, if you put and make sure all the little things are taken care of, the big things just kind of fall into place. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so that, you know, I, I'm trying to be detail oriented and, and, and have coaches that are that also are like minded like that, and that we are teachers. Right. Um, but mm -hmm. what uh, working in pro football also does is it changes your demeanor a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when I was a young college coach in, in Ohio, you know, everybody thought they were Woody Hayes, and it was yelling and screaming and throwing hats and watches and anything else <laughs> that you could rip off of your body and mm -hmm. throw without getting arrested and mm -hmm. uh, um, but uh, at the pro level that doesn't work it's mm -hmm. you're working with men it's their livelihood and um, you have to get the most out of them and uh, and that's what I, I think uh, where my approach has changed the most over the years and um, <coughs> and I think it'll be reflective with these players here uh, and they they respond better to um, uh, you know coaching in a manner that uh, uh, is is a teaching philosophy is making corrections and building up rather than tearing down and uh, you know there are times obviously football is an emotional game mm -hmm. it's a testosterone and adr adrenaline driven mm -hmm. and um, you know but I, I always tell them listen to the listen to the message not the tone right. uh, but our tone is pretty good too and that comes from being in pro football. Well, the season starts for Widener on September 5th. That is a Friday night game at Rowan, and the home opener is September 20th against Albright. We thank football coach Mike Kelly for joining us, Thanks. and we thank you for your support of Widener University Athletics.